Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In the last tutorial, we have seen the default constructor. In this program, we will see a parameterized constructor, how it works and how to make use of it. So this was the program which we wrote in our last video to explain the parameterized, the default constructor. Nothing has been changed, same class name, same variables same function name, same values, same output, the same function display. So now the name will change this the name of this program will change it to parameterized constructor. So what do you mean by parameterized constructor? Parameterized constructor means this constructor will have certain values into it which will be passed from our main function from our main function we will send some values to the, our constructor then we will display those values how we do that let us see so let us make some tweaks in our program like we will do some create a variable int x comma int y we are we will be taking uh, two variables in this program and in the m will be equal to x and n will be equal to y so in display program uh, in this display function we don't have to do any changes we'll keep it as it is in our main function what we will do when this object is created we'll pass two values two integer values for example let us pass two comma three so this is all you need to do to make your default constructor a parameterized constructor. So let us see how this works. When you create this object and you give these parameters to it and you can call it arguments also, what happens is this as you already know this object calls the constructor and gets the value by default of the constructor. So here we are passing the values as 2 and 3 to the constructor. So the value 2 will come and take the place of x and the value of 3 will come and take the place of x. So now your program will be like in place of x you can write 2, in place of y you can write 3. So the m value will be 2 and the n value will be 3. So now what you will be seeing is m equal to 2 and n equal to 3. Let us see if we are correct or not. This was y, this will be x. So now let's run your program, compile it, f9, now see the value of m is 2, the value of n is 3. So if I just change the values over here, say we'll make it 88 and this 321 now let's run it oops. y oh sorry made a mistake I'm equal to x to y now run your program see the value of m is 88 the value of n is 321 so this is known as a uh, parameterized constructor. So hope this was easy and uh, you could understand what was explained in this video. If you still have any doubts, please comment on our website and let us know if you need any more help or any more clarification or if you need to me to change my way of explanation. I will really appreciate your suggestions. Thanks for watching.